Weekly stimulus, October 2nd to the 8th. Big Cowboy win, 3-1. and one. Not that bad. All right, week one, clean and jerk. Today, Monday, every three minutes times five. It's 25 total reps. It's five reps every three minutes. This is really designed to be doing singles. If you have 10-pound um, um, bumper plates on there, bring the bar after the overhead to the hang and then drop it. But we do want you to reset on all these reps. These are not touch and go reps like we did last week and the previous weeks. Okay, you guys that don't know where to start, start light. Build some confidence in these lifts, all right? Um, you guys that do have one rep maxes, um, start nowhere, somewhere around like 50%. All right, again, feel good about these reps and do not climb higher than 75%. Even if you're feeling it, we will get a chance to get heavy, all right? All right, the three round for time workout afterwards is fast. We get this all the time when we have a deadlift movement and then uh, either a front squat or another movement. Oh, uh, I want to use one weight for the deadlift and one weight for the front squat. It's not designed like that. It's close to 60 deadlifts. Okay, so you want to move those efficiently. Um, if the weight is that light for you, do them all in a row. All right, it's 15 pull-ups and then nine front squats. You may squat clean rep number one for front squat. All right, people are getting this done today right around nine, 10 minutes. Okay, so it is quick. All right, so you do want to move fast, all right? And it's right around where um, we lined it up time-wise. Okay, Tuesday. So about three weeks ago, we did an indoor workout. It's a long format workout. And it was 6K of running and rowing. Well, Tuesday is 8K of running and rowing. It has a 40-minute cap. All right, coaches, you'll start half of the people on the row and the other half on the run and you will flip-flop them, okay? So all they will do is just do the workout in reverse. So 12 run, four row, one run, six row. So basically we added 200 meters to all the rowing and all of the running from the uh, previous week of the 6K. We're trying to get that done under 40 minutes. So if you are recording times on workouts like this, you, know, you should have an idea of where you will be. Talk to your coaches about scaling, especially on the run. So the running is where you can scale. The rowing, you should not be scaling. All right. Wednesday, every 2 minutes and 30 seconds times 5, we are doing 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 on thrusters. So on this, um, again, start light. You know, the 10 and 8 rep is could, could be a lot, all right? You cannot break up these reps. You will do all of them in a row, but our goal is to increase the weight every time. So whatever weight I did for 10, I'll increase it for eight, I'll increase it for six, all the way down. Sometimes a really good idea is to think about what you wanna hit for the set of two or the set of four, and then work backwards. Okay, if I wanna hit 135 for the set of two, maybe I go 115 or 125, and I work my way backwards to give myself a starting weight. All right. So the conditioning on Wednesday is 40-20. So it's kind of a double Tabata, all right? You'll work 40 seconds, you'll rest for 20, all right? And those movements are bike. Bike is a reach pace, something you wanna go a little on the faster side, but not a sprint. Um, then you'll go into the rope climb and then into the box jump over. So be nice and steady on the box jump over. If you're ripping the box jump, or it's five rounds for each movement, all right, so if you're ripping the box jump, it's gonna affect you on how you do the bike. So you should be able to hold consistent, all right? And you wanna go steady on the box jump. Two rope climbs is totally doable, all right? In um, a 40 second time frame. I wouldn't think about doing any more than that until maybe I got past the third round, okay? Uh, on the bike too as well, if you're not sure of, uh, you know, how far you can get, maybe set a target. Okay, on the first bike. And then once you get through round one, you can be consistent and hit that target. You don't want to see a big drop off on that. All right. All right. Thursday is partner alternate. So this workout is written just like our in-house workout. Um, I don't know if it's number one or number. I think it's number one. All right. Um, yeah, the, the trick or treat workout. So one round is when each partner does all three movements. Okay. So this is how it works. I do the three wall walks. My partner does 12-9 row. I do the 16 dumbbell snatches. 
my partner does the three wall walks. I do the row, my partner does the dumbbell snatches, that's one round, okay? And you'll do 10 of them. Rounds need to be done under three minutes, okay? It's totally doable between you and your partner. It's about 90 seconds for each, all right? If you need to make scales for the wall walk and scales on the dumbbell, then do that. But you will alternate each movement. Again, one wall walk, two row, one dumbbell snatch, two wall walk, one row, two dumbbell snatch. That's a round, okay? That's not reps. That's partner one, partner two, okay? Friday's five rounds for time. It's a 200-meter run. It's 10 power snatches. It's a 200-meter run. It's 10 ring dips. And then a 100-meter farmer's carry. That's to the window, okay, with the little yellow line on the ground, all right? Um, obviously, choose a weight on the farmers that you can go there and back without dropping, all right? Breaking on the farmers is going to take up a lot of time, all right? Coaches set up their rings so that they can go ahead and use the bands if necessary, um, and that is Friday. Saturday is in every 30 second times 60, all right, intervals, but really it's only 15 rounds. So interval one, you have 10 wall ball and a 30 second time, 30 seconds, all right, up, you move to the next movement. Three deadlift. So this is sneaky because it does add up to about 45 deadlifts, all right, the weight's a little heavier, then what you normally see, it's 245, 155, and then it goes down from there. You have 20 crossovers or 25 doubles or 40 singles, and then six total bar. I know six total bar doesn't sound like a lot, all right, um, but it's 15 rounds. So it's actually 90 total bar, all right? So um, break them up. Two sets of three may be a much better um, idea, especially with the deadlift and taxing your grip. Um, so be smart on that, all right? Um, Sunday is five rounds for time. Run, ton, 10 dumbbell, single arm dumbbell snatches. So you'll do all 10 on one arm. After you're done, you'll lunge 50, so down and back. Then you'll snatch with the other arm and lunge 50 down and back. You'll do five rounds for time. <sighs> Dog Marcus, enjoy the week.